riders, bringing in the elite riders to come and race in the race, um, and also looking at how the riders experience the event. So how do how do each of the sponsors impact that rider? Um, and also when it comes to the marketing side of things, um, what are we doing on social media, what are we doing in our newsletters and how are we engaging with each of those riders when they come and they experience the FNB Wines to Wells. So rider experience is everything pretty much from building into the event to what you're doing at registration, um, is there wine tasting for the riders, is there food for the riders, um, is there somewhere to chill, some shade. Um, and also, what do the riders get at the event? So, are you getting a juice out double bag like the riders were given this year? You get an awesome craft cycling jersey that they got this year as well. Fantastic DHL t shirt So, each of that is, is really um, fundamental in organizing the event. So, how are you working with the rider, with the sponsor? And obviously, the sponsor gets involved with the, with the event specifically, like the FNB Wines to Wells. Because they're looking at you know, taking their brand down to people who touch their brands and experience their brands. You can have so much fun and um, it just allows you to, to play. Sweet! It's toch lekker. I'm actually using F&B Wines to Wales as my highlight to end the season off more than anything. Everything's superb from the race village to the trails, you know, so there's not one thing lacking and I think that's really important. Welcome in your beautiful ride yesterday, another great ride today. The terrain was beautiful, the new single track was fantastic and the two of us had a really, really good run. So the FNB Wines to Wales, I think one of the coolest things that we've managed to get right with each of our race villages is that obviously when you're engaging with the sponsor, when you're meeting with them for the first time or for the 11th time, a lot of our sponsors have been with us since inception, it's, it's taking their brand and taking it to the end, the end user or the end person and that is, at the end of the day is actually the rider. So how is their brand touching the rider? I mean, they wouldn't be involved in this fantastic event, obviously, if they didn't have an objective that they're wanting to achieve through it. So it's the most important part around the FNB Wines to Wells is interacting and engaging with the riders, making sure the riders are aware of what they're getting, um, the sponsors are leveraging it, obviously building into the event, communications around what they're doing at the event, and obviously post-event, you know, um, hoping that the riders go and they engage, they walk into a Juice South right, store and they go and buy the apparel from Juice South. So the brands that believe in them through their association with mountain biking, we hope to create that type of environment where you post the event, the guys go and they, they make they, they support their local spur. They go and they shop at Food Lovers Market, um, as well as they bank with the FNB. I mean, that's the, those are the fundamental things which obviously the, the sponsors are trying to create, as well as us as, uh, as event organizers. Well, first time doing it. We had a mate, uh, now enjoyed it beautiful. Uh, enjoyed the track, it was like a fun, no, no, it was really, very, very nice. It just keeps getting better. Every year there's something better. It's, it's To me, it's the mountain bike race to do. The event organizers uh, really got out of the way to welcome the pro riders and, and make us feel at home here. And uh, just the general atmosphere of the race overall, you know, everyone's happy and having a good time. Oh, you look lovely. No, you, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> Loving it. It's fantastic. Look at me. Yeah. In terms of the ride experience, I think. Um, we need the support of uh, Food Lovers Market with their fantastic food and FNB with the FNB Rider Lounge, which has really been out of this world and I think set standards in the world of mountain biking. Uh, so that's been tremendous. And, and all our other sponsors, Isuzu, DHL, and I can go on and on. We have a fantastic group of sponsors and it's been really amazing to see how they all contribute to the experience of the rider. Oh, that's good. Fantastic. Good. Nice and clean, hey? Yeah. Especially my legs. I know, it's, 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 it's bicycle heaven. It's so much fun. What mountain biking does is it gives us a chance to test our metal a little bit, just test our grit and, and, and give us an opportunity to push ourselves beyond what we thought we could do. And that feel, that's why I do this, is to cross the line with that you know, aching body, aching joints, but man, we did it. We pushed ourselves, we, we yeah. took the hard route, and it feels good. It's absolutely amazing the way they put this together, and yeah, a huge thanks to all the sponsors and the organization and, and everyone. It's, it's, it's such a blast to be here. With mountain biking, your primary need, I believe, is making sure there's fantastic tracks. And then we can you have their team look after that. And there's new things every year and that's that's excellent. Um, in the village or from outside of the bike, there's also the primary needs you need to look after. Good sleeping facility, making sure they get fed well and they have the uh, ablution facilities. If those three basics are looked after well, 
in all the other paraphernalia becomes an addition to that and that makes the experience fantastic. Ah, I love this event. It's, it's very different from all the others. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. Um, I've had such a good time. Everything is well organized and yeah, it's, it's awesome. Definitely, definitely we'll be back. It was a fantastic weekend, um, great riding, Grand Wells is a very good event. It was awesome, yeah. So, FNP's slogan for, for 2015 and their, their brand sort of hashtag that they've created around the FNP wants to Wales is hashtag we get why you ride and I think it's it really resonates with each of the each of the riders and, and specifically with FNP as a bank, you know, I think all of us get why you ride. Why do you ride? You're trying to... You, you, you're getting away for the weekend. You, you're socialising with mates. Um, a lot of business is being done at the FNB Wines to Wales. So we've got some of the big corporates, we've got some of the world, most well known rugby players coming and riding here. Um, but at the end of the day, when they hit the race village, I think it's also everybody is everybody's kind of just you know the, on the same level. You're all out there, they're all battling out on the roots, and they're all suffering through the same amount of, of hurt and pain. Um, but it's also that sense of accomplishment when they come across the finish line, you know. And I think that and the amount of tea building and the camaraderie that happens out on the route is, is really why FNB chose that hashtag, we get why you ride. It was good. Uh, we worked hard, but we had a lot of fun, yes. Definitely one of the best races that I've done um, ever in my mountain bike uh, career. And so I'm going to keep on coming back. I absolutely love it. Yeah, the trails are amazing, so I'll be back next year again professional setup so um, from the registration all the way through to staying at the you know the village and the whole the FMB tent and everything is it's so professional I mean the the food is amazing and yeah it's just one of those races that you really want to be at and we specifically built all these bridges um, crazy stuff that we built um, this one crazy in terms of the concept also crazy in terms of what we spend on these damn things it's all good, eh? beautiful weather, great place to be. Eh? It's just an amazing event and you get so spoiled here and it's just so well organized. Yeah, we enjoyed it. Eh? It's such a lucky route. It's actually been a great two days. Eh? We've had a good time. And this boy's a bit fitter and thinner than he was last year. So. <laughs> It's probably the best mountain bike event in the country. I really enjoy it. It's technical, it's hard, it's a, it's a proper, proper test. The single track was amazing. Absolutely amazing. It was awesome. The trails are great out here. You can't get better than this. This is what I love. This is mountain biking. I absolutely have a, had a blast up there today. Amazing. Organisation is first class. I've got to do this every year. I don't think I've ever ridden any trails better than these in the world. So and that's okay. and, and not only the riding, but, but the race village that they've created here is just it's just out of this world. It's awesome, and it's so nice to actually just hear the riders also just like you know just mentioning that and just there's like the the lounge where they can relax and just the amount of stuff that they've, they've really got involved is amazing. Oh, just fantastic! It was brilliant. Um, I got approached by the SPCA to be an ambassador for them to help them promote against animal cruelty. So um, I've done this event every year for FMB, and I thought, why not try to do all three? And being my third time attempting this event, and it's been a tough task. I've had three amazing partners. The first two have got me through it. The rest day was amazing, and today with Renette it was unreal. It was my favourite day so far. But really, the support that I've had from FMB, from Stillwater, it's just been incredible. Um, I like the, the spirit of the whole thing. I think it's quite nice. She's been two nights in, this, in the same camp and it's a good bunch of people. The route's obviously magnificent. Some of the prettiest mountain biking you'll do in this country. Exactly. Look, I mean, everybody was great to us on, on the route. We had a, a, a bit of help from a couple of guys. We helped a few folks and, and I was really impressed. Eh? The, the cycling community, I, I doffed my cap. Eh? They, were, they were really good out there today. And, and if that's just a, a little a view of, of what they're like, then I'm delighted to be a, bit, a small part of it. For me, is seeing guys behind me come across the finish line and those those tweets. I mean, we've been absolutely bowled over with the amount of positive feedback that we've received around the events for this year. And you know, it's, it's tough. We are. We've been working on the event for a couple of days now. I've actually forgotten what day we're at. But um, what gets me up every morning is all that positive feedback that we receive from the riders. Um, there's so much stoke around this event. There's so much excitement around this event. Whether it's your first FNB Wines to Wales, your first stage race that you've ever done. Or really it's about people pushing themselves to the limit and seeing them achieve that. I think that for me is what gets me up in the morning, is seeing guys just so stoked at the event and having such a joy and, and building into the event and, and relationships being forged around it. Also engaging with the sponsors and seeing the sponsors. I mean, 
F&B getting new clients, Do South getting more people through the stores, Specialized getting more people on bikes, Isuzu, more people buying Isuzu buckies. So that's what gets me up in the morning every morning.